What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Angry Muslim instantly regrets asking this question. Okay, let's go to my first time checking this out and I would love also to see it together. So let's get right into it. What's a dimmy? What's a dimmy? You're a dimmy as well. Why? I'm In a dimmy. Yeah, I'm yes, a dimmy. Uh, to, to who? To who? To who? To the British government. Come on. To the British Come government. On, yes, you you don't are. even know what a dimmy is, do you? Yeah, I do know what it what is. What is a dimmy? I don't know what it is. What is a dimmy? Yeah. You are a dimmy as well. What is it? You are as well. You are identifying me as something. Third class what citizen. is the yeah. thing you're identifying you're me as? Citizen, yes, these are nice sound bites. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But try like having it. Like exactly try, but try doing. having exactly what you're doing. The more Christians, logic, less heat. Live more logic. Now I'm talking logic. Less no heat. heat. More You're logic, less heat. More logic, less heat. More logic, less heat. Okay, I would love to know the start of this. <laughs> this has started heat already, so I would love to know the beginning. You're a dimmy as right, well, so right? calm down. You're a dimmy let's as try well. and have a conversation. So we're here in the UK, yeah? What? Let's we're start by clarifying UK. our we're terms. UK. Let's Talk start by clarifying UK. our we're terms. Over there. What is a we're dimmy? Not over there. What is a dimmy? You tell me. Yeah. Right, I'll here. tell you exactly what a dimmy is. A dimmy, a dimmy comes from Where? comes from the Quran. Yeah, Where? it, 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 it comes from Where in Britain. Comes Where in from Britain? the Quran. Talk about Britain. In which Christians are second-class citizens no, in an Islamic no, state, no, they're not. ruled no, they're not. by laws, no, not. ruled by laws no, you're a liar. that mean that you're they a liar. don't you're have equality liar. under the law, under the law, under the law, under the law, under the law of Islam. And they gave the key These are lies. These are lies. These so are lies. Think. Where's your evidence? Yeah, nice. well, Where's your evidence? Ask the Christians. I know Christians Christian. from Palestine, well, Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, the way, Armenia, Syria. All of these Christians are second have been trapped by second class citizens the in the Muslim yeah. world. I have. You're a I have. Yeah. This is, this is just a trope. This is just a lie. It's, it's like calling someone a racist because they don't. They said are. something that because they don't like. The truth. Go to the Christian. This is just Go a word Christian, that you use to try yeah. to shut they down conversation. Okay, I think the Muslim guy is kind of like angry because the Christian guy was actually preaching and he was upset. Probably the Christian guy said something that the Muslim guy did not take lightly, and he was like. How dare you come here and preach such things about the Muslim? What gives you the right? So I think the Muslim guy is, is kind of like angry. He just don't know how to direct the anger properly. And this is really heated. Whenever it comes to Christian and Muslim debates, it's really intense. Let's keep watching. Listen, listen, listen. Would you no, like to have a conversation? No, no, I am having a conversation. Right, let's have a conversation then. The More logic. You're, a liar. You're the liar, You're bro. Liar. You don't even know that I'm a Zionist. You just because accuse me of being a Zionist. What, a Zionist. what is a Zionist? What is a Zionist? What is a Zionist? They hate the world. You've said that I'm a dimmy, but you haven't identified what a dimmy is. What is a you've dimmy? said you that I. You've you said I've already told you, but you weren't listening because you're just repeating. Please control yourself and. Thank you. Caliph, We're trying to have a conversation. The Christians. No, 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 hold on one no, second. No one, quiet. one second. You no one is your dimmy here. I am not your dimmy, no, and you have spoken over me. So don't now ask me to be quiet. If you would like to do this timed, I'll agree to do it timed. Would you like to do it three minutes? Three minutes. I'm trying to organise a fair conversation in which you can be heard. But if you're just going to talk over me, then this is how the conversation will go. You do you support? Support the idea of. I feel like the Muslim guy should give the Christian guy like a few times for him to speak because two people talking over each other. We don't really understand what's going on like right now. I still don't get. I want them. I want someone to speak. Then the other listen. Then the other says his own feedback. Because right now the debate is getting heated and. They are trying going nowhere with it. Treating Christians as dimmies. No, I don't. You don't. No, no, so no, you no, reject no, Islamic no, teaching no, on no, that no, then? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Hold there on. you go. No, hold on. I, I applaud no, you for doing on. that. Right. A I applaud dimmy, you for doing that. Your description of a dimmy is not a dimmy. I, I'm the sorry, what, what is your description of a dimmy? Yeah, a dimmy is a person who lives under Islamic law. So I got that bit right. Yeah. And is protected equally from who? From, from who? Muslims. Enemy. They're protected of, from enemy. the Muslim no, no, state. No, no, no. no. What happens if a Christian outside. doesn't pay their jizya? 
Yeah, just what like happens? We, just like if we don't they're enslaved, yeah. no, they, they don't. lose their property, no, they don't. No, they don't. and they're no, killed. No, they don't. That's, no, they don't. That is. That's a lie. That is. A lie. Are you are you sure? That is a lie. Are you sure? Read the history. Have, books. Yes, I have. Yeah, read the history I have. How many history books? Yeah. How many Go books of martyrology have you read? Yeah, listen. Do you listen. know what martyrology no, is? No, I don't. I'm no, you don't. No, I don't. Martyrology yeah. is the history of the martyrs. Christians yeah. in the Islamic world have written their own history and of their own experience of what it meant to be ruled by Muslims and they are unanimous. They are tra second class citizens. They are abused. Let me give you some examples. Shall I give you examples? Did they have, did they have the Christian? Did they have the church? Are Muslims and Christians tra equally under Islamic law? Yes, they are. Can a, right, I'm going to prove him wrong now. Can a Christian man marry a Muslim woman? No, they, yes, they can. Liar. 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 A Liar. A Shall we Google him and no, see if he's telling no, the truth? No, no, no. A Shall we Google no. him? Sorry, sorry. Uh, don't grab my phone. No, no. Don't grab my phone. Oh, Keep your hands to yourself. Yes, right, so let's yeah. Google him and see if he just lied. I didn't let, 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 I was ignorant. Let, let's just Google him and see if he lied. Right? You all heard him say that a Christian man can marry a Muslim woman. You all heard him say that, right? Here's his excuses now. Well, I know when a Christian guy wants to marry a Muslim girl, the family does not allow it. It is not allowed. It's an haram. Unless the Muslim girl choose to convert to Christian and cut all ties with her family, that is the only way. But I know a Muslim guy or a Muslim man can marry a Christian girl. So that is just how it works. Um, you're hearing a Muslim girl, she's going to marry a Christian guy. It's, it, it's, it's haram. So right now, uh, I think the Muslim guy, you know, yeah, yeah, hear the question properly. So he's trying to defend himself. But right there, right, everybody know, everybody heard the question at the same time. So let me, let's give him benefit of doubt that he did not hear the question promptly or he did not hear the question well. So probably he, he, that's why he rushed to the answer. Or a Muslim girl can't marry a Christian guy. It's haram. Bullshit, I, did, I didn't hear the question. You can oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Suddenly it's, I didn't hear. I wonder why he didn't hear. Is it because he just talks incessantly and doesn't listen to an argument? Yeah. Yes. Let's listen. try this again. Stop. Now you're listening. No, no, now you're listening. No, no, no. Can a Christian man marry a Muslim woman under no, Sharia law? No. Can a Muslim man marry a Christian woman? If he wants yes. There you go. Yes. Is that equality under the law, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, no. Brother. Let me ask you this Brother, question. Sir. Let me ask you this question. Can a Muslim be the Caliph? Yes. Can a Christian be the Caliph? Uh, no. no. Is that equality under the law, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, can a Muslim convert to Islam in Sharia law? Can a Muslim? Convert to, sorry, my apologies. Can a Muslim convert to Christianity under Sharia law? No. Can a Christian convert to Islam under Sharia law? If he wants to. Is that equality under the law, ladies and gentlemen? Let me ask you this question. Can a Muslim can a Muslim yeah. own Christian slaves under Sharia law? No. Liar. Is shall we just see, yeah. shall we see slavery if he's telling the truth? Yeah. Let's, yeah. Maybe I'm ignorant. Let, yeah. as, as far as I know, slavery in Islam... You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Shall I tell you what the actual answer is? The actual answer is, though under Sharia law, a Muslim can own a Christian slave, but a Christian can't own a Muslim slave. Now, is that equality under the law? No. 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 So have I demonstrated no, 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 no. You got wrong. by examples listen, listen, you don't that understand. Christians don't, don't, don't have equality bullshit. under the law? You're talking a bullshit. What's the bullshit? You're talking a bullshit. What's the bullshit? Go to Quran. What's the bullshit? And have, read the Quran. You're a liar. And that's You're what liar. he started by saying. You are and a then, liar. Shall we do the experiment you again? You do you know what you're rabbit. talking about? You don't do you know, know what you're talking about? Islam. Okay, this is getting more intense because right now I think it's two Muslim against one Christian. <laughs> I'd love to see how this ends out. Nothing.
go to Quran, answer this question. There is you no know what you're talking about. Islam. You know what you're talking there about. Is no Do you know what Islam. you're talking about? Islam. Ladies and gentlemen, if Islam. I want to buy a black Re slave today, you, you used I to do bring, it by going to the Muslim to world. Bring, you used to That's bring the place where, yes, to America go to Mauritania, go to Chad. You, you don't know what you're talking about. And you just believe the, religion, the lies of the liberal lie. media. You rabbit. Christians you are going are to Sudan right now and buying slaves you and run. setting them free. That's what Christians are doing. Islam denies. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Hold, hold on to this. These are the lies of the liberal media, and this is an example of someone who has been brainwashed by the liberal media. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, go, go, listen. The Christian faith teaches equality under the law for all people. It's an Old Testament principle. So which religion is going to give? You better say guidance. Liar. You are a liar. The Christian faith or the Islamic faith? You don't so tell the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, I'm telling you, go back. Under yes, Sharia law, Christians have been treated as second class citizens for 1400 years. No, you may think that I'm lying. I challenge you to go and speak to the Egyptian. Christians. I challenge you to go and speak to the Syrian Christians. I challenge you to go and speak to the Christians from Iraq. Don't believe the lies of the Dawagandists. Don't believe me. Go and speak to the people directly and they will tell you, madam, that I am telling the truth. Don't accuse me of lying. I know the people. I I know the people that have my, suffered my under these rules. So, bullshit he says. Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? There you go, a Muslim apologist. Don't go and believe the Muslim apologist. Go and speak to the Syrian Christians directly. Go and speak to the Egyptian Christians directly. Go and speak to the Christians of Iraq. As I have, and unanimously, they tell me that Christians have been set as second class citizens. You need to decide for yourself who's telling the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Christianity, Buddha, Buddhism, the Muslims. Let me ask the that's Muslims. Would you like to have a conversation? Yeah, come back. What is mean Christianity? Like? No, that's Christianity not the conversation. Mean, that's not you. the conversation. That's not the conversation. Christ. That's Christ. not the conversation. Buddha. That's not the conversation. That's not the conversation. That's not the conversation. That's not the conversation. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Muslims choose to believe their own lies. Their own lies about dimitude. But you can see from the sufferings of Christians what they have endured and you can get the first hand testimony of Armenian Christians, of Egyptian Christians, of Syrian Christians of Iraqi Christians, of Indonesian Christians, of Christians from Malaysia, of Christians from Iran, of Christians from Afghanistan. Don't believe the lies of your Dawagandist propagandists here in the park. Don't believe the lies of the Muslims. Go and speak to the Christians themselves who have suffered under dimitude. Go and speak to the Christians themselves who have lost family in anti-Christian pogroms, who have suffered and remember that their grandparents were forced into the narrow part of the road. Go and speak to the Christians about how their churches were desecrated. True. Your liberal media is lying to you when they tell you 
that Islam is a benign force in our society. And we have the testimony of 1400 years of Christian experience all across the Middle East, all across Eastern Europe, where Christian children were kidnapped by Muslim armies. We have the examples of the that is actually true. Like what he's saying is there's truth in his words. Like Christians in Syria, Christians in Afghanistan, Christians in Iran, they find it hard to survive. This attendance has been hidden. Like the liberal media won't bring it out. They will keep on hiding it. But the truth keep on standing that Christians in Muslim countries find it hard. They find it hard to stand out. They find it hard to come out because they are anti-Christians, especially in the Iran. They are anti-Christians that kills Christians, that threw Christians off from the roof down. So if they are saying that Christians are not slaves up to this extent, it's a lie. They are, they are Christian slaves in Muslim countries. They are Christians who are being killed every single time. So right here currently, in Nigeria. So if I've heard stories, I've not experienced it myself, but I've, I've heard stories. I have friends that live there. I have friends that stay in some countries that if you are just moving, like somewhere like Nigeria, for instance, there's a state called Jos. Christians are being killed. Christians are being killed because of this war against Christian and Muslim stuff. It is really, really serious. If you are not supporting them, that means you are against them. And if you are against them, it means you want to die. <laughs> it's one way or another. So there are a lot of anti-Christians. There are a lot of people who kill Christians every time. I'm not saying all of them, but there are a lot of people in Muslim countries that are anti-Christian that just don't want to hear that you are a Christian. So either we choose to accept it or not, it is happening. It is still happening. It is just not brought out in the media most of the times because they don't see it as top news. So it is happening. It is still happening, guys. Don't be deceived by the media. It is still happening. You can go to Syria and ask questions. You can go to Iran and ask questions. It is still happening. Christians in Pakistan whose girls are kidnapped, bombs are planted in churches, anti-Christian riots are launched in Egypt, True. Christians in Syria live as second-class citizens. Go and Google the word dimitude. Go and look up what the Barnabas Fund says, what Open Doors says, what Release International says about the sufferings of Christians, and then compare these testimonies to the lies of Dawagandists who tell you that Dimitude is not a religious apartheid. It is a religious apartheid. Let me ask you this question, ladies and gentlemen. A show of hands. And if you're a Christian, I expect you to represent. Do you put your hand up if you have a problem with slavery? Yeah. Keep your hand up if you have a problem with child marriage. Keep your hand up if you have a problem with killing people for becoming Christian. Keep your hand up if you have a problem with the idea of having two sets of laws, one for religious minorities and one for the religious majority. All of you Christians, and I bet you it is the Christians who put their hand up, all of you Christians have admitted that you have a problem with Islam. And if you didn't put your hand up to say that you're against these things, I want to say, shame on you. Shame on you for equivocating about slavery. Shame on you for equivocating about paedophilia. Shame on you for equivocating about matters of religious liberty. The reality is that every person of goodwill, whether they are a Christian, a liberal, a communist, whatever your ideology, 
If you are against these things, then you are against Islam. And the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, the Dawagandists in this park permeate and sell lies. Christianity is one of the most mocked religion in the entire world. Everyone knows that. A lot of religion mocks Christians. A lot of people who are atheists mock Christians. We are the most talked about. We are the most mocked. Being a Christian, I'm proud to be a Christian. Okay, so I, hearing this is not my first time knowing that such things exist. I know. But it's just not talked about more. So everybody does keep quiet. But if you are around such vicinities, such areas, such places, such, such um, slavery and killings occurs, you will be afraid to sleep at night. It is really serious. So, um, the preacher right here, I kind of like get his point. He made his point clear and uh, defending Christian and not supporting um, child marriages, um, slavery. There's no equality between Christian and Muslim. We all know that. And the preacher knows that. But people don't talk about slavery again because it's something that is not common. It feels like it does not happen, but it's still happening. So the preacher emphasizing on the slavery stuff, it's, there's a point in it, it's just where he is right there in the UK, it's not happening. Or probably it's happening, but it's not really loud. It's less number. Or like when it's happening in Iran, for instance. So UK is well civilized. United Kingdom is well civilized. So that's why the Muslim right there was telling him, it's not happening in the UK. Because it's not happening in the UK doesn't mean it's not happening in Syrian or Iran or Afghanistan. It is something that Christians ought to be talking about more. So I got a pretty point of the view. And that was Bantley waits back and front, back and front. But the fastest is that Christians are being enslaved in different Muslim countries. This this is true. There are foundations that fund the money for people who are being killed, families are being killed by Muslim anti-Christians. It is really serious and it's something we should take serious. So this this was a serious argument. This was a serious confrontation. And I kind of like understand, I kind of like enjoyed it. I kind of like, okay, I learned some weights in it. And it's beautiful watching this. And I love that Christian is standing out as a preacher right there, standing out for Christian. I am really, really happy. I'm giving him some accolade because it's not everyone that have that boldness to stand out for Christians. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Poof. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all